With evidence in hand, scientists next have to decide what the evidence means. In the case of Reedy Glacier, that meant determining whether the glacier was thickening or thinning, and what Reedy Glacier's history and movement implies for the West Antarctic Ice Sheet. One of the things we wanted to do was figure out how, how thick the West Arctic Ice Sheet was. And so Reedy Glacier flowed into the West Arctic Ice Sheet, and we were able to reconstruct its past surface profile or its past surface level so we could determine how thick it was. And from that research, we've been able to determine that the ice sheet thickened by more than, um, more than several hundred meters at the last glaciation. And so that agrees with evidence for a much thicker West Arctic ice sheet than exists today. So that's the first major conclusion. A second conclusion is that we wanted to try to determine if the retreat of the ice sheet had ended or if it was still ongoing, because a lot of the earlier work had the suggestion that the retreat could still be ongoing. And so our data seemed to indicate that the retreat has slowed greatly over the last couple thousand years. We can't say for sure that it has stopped, but it appears that the rate of recession has, has slowed over the last few thousand years. And so that's a, that's a major conclusion.